Hey everyone, Chang here and welcome to my channel. Now, as we get closer and closer to February 14, you know, Valentine's Day, some of us might want to up our courting game a little. Now, here is a tool for your arsenal. So, a number of us actually have heard of dad jokes. And you know, dad jokes are one of those endearing kind of jokes, even though inside we know it's kind of lame. This is one of those things. It's not really a dad joke, but it's a magic trick, a math magic trick, you know, ha. Huh. So, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go over every single step, what's to expect it of the magic trick, and then how it's performed. Afterwards, I'm gonna explain why it works. Now, if you don't quite care why it works, just memorize these five steps, go along your merry way, and as you use it in your core game, you know, if you actually use it, that's on you, right? Then at least you'll be able to have a little, you know, conversation starter, icebreaker, however you wanna call it. Now, let's just start off with this. First and foremost, think of a number between one and nine. Now, just from testing this out, to my understanding, one and nine you can use as well. So it's not just the numbers in between, but you can actually use one and nine. Now, make sure that they're all whole numbers. If you try using decimals, first and foremost, your math game has to be super solid. The other thing is that it might not necessarily work. So let's just avoid that, all whole numbers. Afterwards, you're gonna multiply it by nine. So whatever number you select it, you're gonna multiply by nine. And most of the time, it'll end up being a two digit number. Sometimes it's not. If it's not, you can ignore step three. But if it is a two digit number, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get those two digits and you're gonna add them together. Afterwards, that result, you're gonna take away five. And lastly, you're gonna multiply the result by itself. Now, without further ado, wh what's the trick? The trick is that the answer is always gonna be 16, no matter what, right? So, just have this number memorized, these five step memorized, and you are good to go. All right, so let's actually demonstrate this for, I guess you could say, a just basic understanding. So, think of a number between one to nine. Now, I'm just gonna go with, you know, somewhat in the middle, so I'm gonna just choose five, but then, of course you can choose any number you want, and you guys feel free to test out all the different variations, because I mean, there's only like nine different problems, right? One all the way to nine. So, you're gonna think of a number between one to nine. I'm gonna say five. And afterwards, you're gonna multiply by nine, which is gonna give you a 45. That is a two digit number, so you're gonna go through the third step. Since it's a two digit number, you're gonna add the digits together. So you have 45, so you're just gonna add five and four, or four and five together, right? So four plus five, that's gonna give us nine. Cool, now you take away five. So nine minus five equals four. You get the result and you multiply it by itself. Four times four is 16. All right? Well, maybe I just specifically pick five and another number doesn't work. Well, like I said, we can test it. Let's just pick another number. Seven times nine is 63, right? Six plus three is nine, okay? And then, of course, nine minus five is four and four times itself is 16. So, notice that actually, as you do more and more of this, you're starting to notice a pattern. First and foremost, we know this. At least with these two examples, these two steps end up being the same, right? And this one end up being somewhat similar. Notice that the result is nine before you start subtracting five, which is always gonna be the case, and then you multiply the result. Well, nine minus five is always gonna be four, so four times itself is always gonna be 16. So notice that it started build on each other. Now, the key or the, I guess you could say, the intrigue is the fact that you can pick any number from one to nine. So let's go into explicit detail why this works. All right, so let's look at the first one. We have one to nine. We can pick any specific number between one and nine. Let's just look at it really quickly. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And afterwards, you're multiplying it all by nine. So let me just write in red so that we can see. That's the main thing, right? Every single one of these are just gonna be multiplied by nine. Okay, and then very quickly we can do the math. And if not, this actually also links to another trick that I saw some, I guess you can say sort of like elementary and middle school student use, and I thought it was pretty neat. So, first and foremost, nine times one is nine, nine times two is 18, and then, you know, 27, 36, and then what is that, 45, and then 54, 63, 72, and then 81. Okay, so that's basically all the possible results. Now, 
The trick that I noticed when I was, well, what, that I saw from elementary school and some of the middle school students that uh, I've noticed used when I was teaching is that um, they use their fingers to do multiplication of nine. And the reason for that is because guess what? We have 10 fingers, but then when they were using the little trick, one of the fingers always down. So there is always just nine fingers in play. So for example, right, they start counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, ten, ignore. Right? So it's gonna be if you multiply nine by one, well, guess what? There it is. That's nine. If you multiply by two and you start counting two. Right, that's gonna be one, and what's left over here is eight, right? So that's 18. Multiply by three, that's two, and right here is 20, well, well two and seven, right? 27. Three is gonna be what? 36, and then they start counting, right? 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and then so on and so forth, right? So there, there we have it right here. Now, that's the thing. The reason we're able to do that, and we're always working with nine fingers, and this whole thing works, is because the fact that when you multiply all these by nine, notice that if you add the digits together, right, all the digits is gonna be nine, right? The first one, there's no other digits, so it's just gonna be nine. One plus eight, nine. Two plus seven, nine. Three plus six, nine. Four plus five, nine. And then basically the numbers sort of flip, right? And so all of these are gonna be added to nine. So when we look at this particular magic trick, right, one to nine, we know this. Notice that the behavior, when we multiply by nine, which is our second step, right? The end result, no matter what it is, right? If it's a two digit number, which is basically all these guys, if it's a one digit number, it's that guy right there, right? You add all the digits together, these all end up being nine. So let's just do this. I'm just gonna draw this right here and then this is all just nine. No, just one nine, well, to represent all of them as nine. All right, so these all are gonna add up to become nine. Well, if that's the case, as we saw previously, right? In the end, if any one of these, the result is going to be nine, and you take away five, the result is four. So, or at least what you have now is four, right? And then when you multiply that four by itself, no matter what it is, it's going to be 16. So, here's your little magic trick. Not so much of a magic trick. I quite enjoy it. I thought it was a little creative, and the idea that it uses this sort of property or this sort of, I guess you say, end result, interesting result that we are able to create this sort of intrigue, right? Select a number, it doesn't matter what number, we know in the end, multiply by nine, the sum of those digits is always gonna be nine, subtract five, always gonna be four, four times four is always gonna be 16. And just like that, you know, impress someone. So hopefully a little fun video, just for entertainment purposes, of course. Of course, you can use this as your skill if you're having trouble with multiplication of nine in any way. This is definitely one with the finger thing, right? Who says counting fingers is still bad, right? Uh, it actually is very good when you can use it in creative ways. So there you go, your little math trick in your arsenal. Good luck as you approach February 14. Use it and in your own discretion, I guess you could say. Of course, you know, add a little other trick, a little other things to, you know, impress the um, person you're trying to court. Other than that, um, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.